use that that top I could have moved this up a little, a little bit higher eventually as support and held it for the rest of the day that was really interesting but man that was that was a beast that was a beast these numbers those numbers this morning when those came when that came out and I saw a company that had lost two million dollars last year two million dollars last year and the company came out and said they made two million dollars this year so that means they not only made up the two million that they lost they made another two million so they basically made four million dollars they basically made four million dollars now you know four million dollars isn't you know we're talking about you know stocks that trade on the nasdaq so you know it's not a lot of money to a lot of other different companies but when you talk about a company that has or before today had a market cap of I believe like almost like 15 million or something like that it was something pathetic of that you know that low then that that is stupid numbers that's a stupid number yes indeed everybody hit that likes button spot mad villain yeah we're gonna pull up all those charts the show just started we're gonna pull up all those charts all right, we're going to pull up all those charts. If you were watching my Twitter account uh, today, I talked about the cues and how that cues need to, how it's so powerful to stay under that 141 and how that 141, let's go back to the daily chart because that's where you see it at. That 141 is an interesting resistance point from back in June. So if we can get back under that 141 and it starts using that 141 as a wall then you can possibly talk about maybe you know it hitting either that 138 or possibly going as far back as, as 135 as 135 all right and those of you guys who play options those those uh options are looking very very nice right now i'm looking at some of those october 20th you know, at 138 right now, going for one contract for about two 200 bucks, 265 bucks for one contract. It's dirt cheap. All right, at 138, you're out out of the money right now. I think you get in the money, you can triple, maybe even double your money there. Definitely double your money, probably triple it. What's going on, closet loaders? Andrew Gladness. Let's look up some of these tickers you guys are talking about. VDRM. VDRM, let's take a look at it. VDRM, OTC stock up 30%. Man, this has been an insane move. Look, four days in a row now. Uh, 71 at the RSI now. You're hot. You're hot now on VDRM, bro. Uh, but, you know, in the OTC world, who cares? If they're buyers, they'll keep, it'll keep going up. Uh, it'll definitely keep going up there. Got a long wick, so you got you got. Let's look at today's action on the five minute. Uh, here's the five minute chart on VDRM today. Well, okay, wow, very very impressive, man. I mean, the stock opened up very strong, held the moving averages really well. My 15 and my 30, my favorite EMAs. That big yellow line is that 50 moving average. The red line is the 200. And held it very, very well, man. Yeah, you stay in this trade uh, all day today. Very nice. Very nice. Up 30%. But then again, be careful. You know it's the OTC stock. This thing can sell off at any moment and just dump on your ass. Like no joke. Uh, FALC. I see somebody bringing up FALC. Let's take a look at it. Up sixty one percent. What was the news here? Up sixty one percent. What was the What was the news here? All right, this thing moving like DCTH a couple of weeks ago. Uh, again, you know, we've seen a couple of these, you know, dirt cheap Finviz first page stocks, right? When you go to Finviz on the first page, and then you're looking at like the cheapest crap out there, and you pull up, you know, stocks like. You know, very much like this, FALC, DCTH, all these like dirt cheap stocks. 
And, you know, you never figure that they do some news like this. I mean, this is an average a stock that trades on an average day only 800,000 shares today trading over 21 million shares today. I have no idea what the flow it is, but I bet that was a big percent of it. 21 million shares traded in FALC. Bat says he got his 23%. That's what's up. Yeah, closet loaders. Looks pretty good. Ryan gets it. You're still in AZFL. Uh, AZFL triple zero stock making its way out of the triples, though. Uh, making its way out of the triples. That's what you kind of like to see, man. These people are actually deciding to hold this. Let me get rid of my moving averages here as it slumps this down. Uh, but not bad. AZFL, people finally holding. That's that's what it takes, man, to get a stock out of the triples is, you know, everybody's got to be on, on code. And it looks like on AZFL, everybody's on code, all right? Not trying to sell for, you know, triple zero two to triple zero four, and then they're dumping all their shares. Everybody's got, especially the big loaders in here at these lower triple zero twos, triple zero threes, holding their shares as it gets gets out now you're going to see these guys start start dumping though because they're going to start saying okay uh, do i really sit on this 400 percent gain right now so just be careful with that what's going on atl trader see you talking about sego sego is a stock we've been watching here multiple days i see here we talked about sego uh every show last last uh week and sego sunset island group still winning shit another stock that is still winning that's another stock that's still winning that's what's up man I don't know what's going on there with that one but damn Sunset Island Group I mean this is unstoppable here where, where did we start off at 20 cents a share back in June all right and again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the daily chart. You're still waiting for the big dump, and the dump hasn't came yet. Now you're damn near 90 on the RSI. Uh, is this going to get to 100 or what? I mean, this has just been this has been just a tear. This has been a tear, man. That's what's up. Uh, stock is up over what is that? 20 cents to 214. Somebody do the math on that. I know for a that's got to be over 600 percent right more than that actually maybe 700 a dollar 40 it's yeah it's all, over 700 percent i think do the, you might have to do the math on that it's something crazy like that what's going on mr lloyd yes indeed 20 26 day lagging price broke cloud okay so bats, that means it's basically gonna keep going up. Shout out to bats for that uchumuchu cloud. No, I'm not saying it right. Mr. Lloyd, you're on the air. What's up, man? Man, I got like one more week left of eating out the damn microwave, man. I'm shit. I I had never thought in a million years I, I would get tired of eating out, and we've been eating out for like three weeks. Yeah, hey, I mean, you, I mean, that's what it takes to get that that kitchen done, man. Shit, I. I we have got two kitchens in here, and I can't use none one of them. <laughs> man, and I gained probably at least 60, 70 pounds shit, eating a la garde and all kind of crazy shit every day. Right. But, yeah, man, uh, I'm looking at this thing, though, man. You know what? I, I cannot. This is just my personal preference. I cannot stand looking at charts like this because, yeah. you know, when I first started trading, man, this is this is what I used to get into, and my ass used to get caught right up at the damn top yeah. and, and holding that fucking bag. <laughs> But good, you know what I'm saying? It's good, but let me tell you, I have never, never caught any. Well, I, one time, man, but it's rare to catch shit like this. It really it, is. It, 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 it is. It is. But, I mean, we are looking at a daily chart, right? So, I mean, it's not like we all didn't have the opportunity to get into something like this. We just didn't believe the run-up. You know what I'm saying? We just didn't believe the run-up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Bats, I still trade the cloud, but you know what? I think I've, I, I've gotten, uh, what do you call it? I mean, I think the cloud when it was like training wheels, man. And so I basically just kind of took off my training wheels, and you know, I look more of uh, look more at the chart now. I don't, I don't 
I don't use the cloud for, I mean, the cloud is good for support and resistance, but once you start doing this for a while, man, you just know when your entries and exits. And I tell you, I, I've, I've, um, I've kind of changed my strategy, man. I used to try to be a swing trader and I can't swing anymore because the problem is I'll see $200 of profit on the table trying to swing it for three or four days and, and I don't take profits and I lose every damn thing. Mm. And so, uh, you know, this morning I made three hundred dollars before I left. So I, I, I rather scalp than 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 to have to swing because yeah. I, you have to move with the market, man. And and unfortunately, I was just so one 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 one. What do you call it? One sided mind. One mind. Basically, a one track mind, mm -hmm. and just a swing trader, three or four day hold. No matter stay in the trade, no matter what happens, and and. You know, I say forty percent of the time it worked, but sixty percent of the time it didn't, and I find I found myself accumulating more losses. Mm. So, but uh, yeah, man, I mean, I, I love that single. So, is that is that something you think you'll you'll play? No, I mean, you might. No, I think right now, I mean, where I'm looking at at Sego now, yeah. a, a, the only thing I would see in this is now is if I can short this. I mean, at the end of the day, right. it's an OTC stock. Uh, let me see here. I, I mean, if if we had a moment, uh, have you even looked at the books on this at all? I'm, I'm, I don't even know. Yeah, I, I don't. You know what? As, as I don't even look at the books no more on, yeah. on on stuff like that. I mean, I, I I my I strictly just scalp. You know, so there's no need to be trying to do 25 minutes of reading through the papers to find out if it's real and. But I mean, it's just there's really no purpose into it. I just you know play the chart, and 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 if I was a new guy getting into this, I mean, it's, it's so funny when you when you see new traders, they'll see this chart like, oh wow, it's going up. I want to get in, and <laughs> yeah, okay. See, so the company has the company has twenty eight hundred bucks in the I mean in the bank, and now has a uh gosh, the company has twenty eight hundred bucks in the bank. And has a market value now, I think, of thirty million dollars. I think something like that. What's the market value now on the stock? Uh, Eighty-two million dollars. <laughs> and it has twenty twenty-eight hundred bucks in the bank, according to this last ten Q. Like I said, I mean, I mean, if you're playing a penny stock to be a value investor, you're wasting your time. And that's at least in my opinion. I've, yeah. I've. Uh, I, I have not. I have yet to see one since I've been trading. I have yet to see one penny play make it out the OTC. So I don't give a damn what they say about this is the next new thing. I have never seen one. HOS. I, there's this in in the last no since my show. There's only been one that I know of, and that's HOS. And there also was SPI. HOS and SPI two. Stocks that were both OTC and then went NASDAQ, and they're still NASDAQ as of right now. Well, I, I take that back. Yes, I've, I've, been, I've been into two plays that made it out, and that was SDOCQ and Zinc. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> they took my money and got out the damn hole. Yeah. So. They both shitted on you. Yeah. But it's all good, man. I, I, I live and learn, and, and I've matured. Um, but you know, like I said, my, my new strategy now, I don't, I don't pay attention to all the noise everybody's doing. I cut a lot of that shit off my chart. And if, if you really want to know my secret, man, the, the secret is this, is that it's, it's reading the sentiment of the chart is, is definitely key for me. I mean, candlesticks, I mean, I, I reduce a lot of the noise, man, and I keep it very simple with the RSI and candlesticks. And basically, it just tells me when to get in and when to get out. Mm -hmm. And if you see a big-ass green candle like that, you know damn well that's going to that's gonna fall down the next day. I mean, come on. I mean, so, so you just prepare yourself to take the ride down. You know what I'm saying? Right. Absolutely. So I just make my entries when it's necessary and, and not get in while it's moving, but try to catch the moves, you know, on the way down. So yeah. just kind of keep it out. But I, I, I would never ride it up. But if, if you would have met me a year ago, I would have got my ass right up in there the next day. And next thing you know, I'm holding 100 bags. So, yeah. yeah. But shit, man, how you holding up? Everything good? Yeah, everything good, bro. I mean, uh, uh, like, like I said, uh, we talked about this last week. I'm hoping that this is the beginning of the end of, of the Trump rally. And I've I'm, I'm, I got my puts loaded up, bro. I got my... 
my gold. I got my G- couple GDXs. I got uh, uh, oil a little bit. <laughs> I mean, so I- I'm hoping this is the beginning of the end, man. You know. Oil took a big ass dookie this morning. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've been trying to catch that oil is all over the place, man. It's hard for me to catch that ride on oil. Every time I get on that bitch, it just like bucks me off. Oh and well, it, when it, it comes to oil, I'm not even you know all the calls I'm I'm buying on oil aren't even this year. It's all you know April. I'm I'm playing the Aprils. I'm playing January 2019s. I'm I'm playing way down. I'm playing that you know chicken yeah. nugget money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right, right. Um. And here's my goal for for by the end of the year is start taking money, man. You know, I need to start taking money and put it in my bank account. And I, I promise myself for every hundred dollars I get, I'm going to deposit six dollars into my account just to make sure I start putting it back. Because how many of you guys out there actually put the money back of the winnings that you get? You always put it right back in and you lose it all. I just calculated. Uh. Just for the last two and a half weeks, I made five thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and all of it's gone. Just, Man. just fucking around, you know, commission fees and all that other crazy stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm making money, but I'm not, I'm not taking it, you know. And I don't know. I mean, I mean, how often do you take your money out? Well, I mean, I, I honestly, I, I don't pay myself anymore from my trading account. Now everything, it, it's <laughs> It's either from my affiliate marketing or my online marketing or whatever. I don't even take anything out of my trading account. So whatever I make, I just put it right back in the bag to try to roll it up. You know what I mean? So I, I don't take anything out of my, my trading account anymore, you know. But ain't that crazy, though? I mean, you make all this money, but you'll never take it out. Well, uh, uh, yeah, but at the same time, man, like, you know, you want more to work with because you got more to work with. You You know, you can buy more and trading is about scale, right? So. You know, it's about right. buying as many shares as possible so you can, you know, make more money. You know what I'm saying? As as the as the stock goes up. Right, right. Yeah, man. Well, I'm 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 at least getting some damn gas money. So when you do make that money, like, oh, at least I can buy some gas from you. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Well, well, cool, man. Well, yeah. I hope you guys have a good one, man. Thanks, Sal, for having me on, brother. Sorry, I've been been in my 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 Airbnb is almost. Up and running, man, and I hope I can get some more residual income coming in. And and uh, you have a good one, brother. Yes, indeed. Appreciate it, Mr. Lloyd. Yes, indeed, man. Mr. Lloyd, hey, don't get it fooled, man. Mr. Lloyd got a whole lot of money. You know, Mr. Lloyd comes on the air acting like he's broke and stuff like that. That's just, you know, you know, rich men tend to be very, you know, they, they don't like to brag too much. You know what I mean? Mr. Lloyd's got a whole lot of money. Don't Don't fool yourself. Uh, another stock that was fire today, S or C E I, C E I. Another one of these, you know, dirt cheap, crappy, uh, low end Nasdaq plays that that just is on fire. Oil play didn't have no reason to really be doing this. Uh, they got the notice from the New York Stock Exchange about possibly being delisted. Uh, it's it's crazy to see where this stock is. Uh, you know, going back to what it used to be, uh, way back when. I mean, this this was a company that traded at you know highs of almost two hundred and sixty, two hundred and seventy dollars, and that is no split, by the way. This stock is not split. You know, to go from two hundred and sixty-five dollars in two thousand and six to where it is now at twenty-five cents. I mean, it just says volumes about your company, but more importantly about the industry as a whole. The industry as a whole to watch a two hundred and sixty five dollar stock go to twenty five cents. That's uh, man. That just gives you, you know, everything you need to know about what's happened to oil uh, over the last 10 years. I mean, this is this, the political environment, um, regional instability. You know, it just sums up everything there. For is that uh, bad science says up 14 percent after hours. OK. Yeah, it needs to get out of a dollar in order if it wants to get above a dollar, excuse me, if it wants to continue to stay listed on the New York Stock Exchange. Otherwise, it's uh, either going to finally split or uh, go down to OTCs. All right, go down to OTCs. Uh, GBTC. GBTC is the Bitcoin fund. 
Uh, if you guys remember, we talked about this last week. This is that Bitcoin fund started about started by those kids, basically. Uh, these young guys who, you know, basically want to give people the opportunity to invest in Bitcoin without necessarily buying Bitcoin. So uh, investors who just feel like they're not confident or actually, you know, want the real thing, uh, but still want to be able to trade it. They can go and trade it like they do their favorite stocks and actually buying a investment trust, a tradable investment trust of Bitcoin, which is this GBTC going for now six hundred and ninety nine dollars a share uh down four dollars today but this this is another stock that's had an incredible run going back to those april prices of 120 bucks uh now it's seven hundred dollars uh, a share on gbtc yeah all right so let's keep looking at what's hot on the market right now i saw some of you guys bring up something else who brought up uh n atl trader what's a n s r p f all right let's pull it up here uh these foreign stocks man here's a foreign gold play i actually like the way this chart is setting up here uh gold play very hot i like the fact that it pulled back today uh so you know take a look at this and see what happens tomorrow uh, obviously if you get a green day tomorrow then you've got people who are really interested in this uh, if you get the confirmation of bullish momentum uh, with another red day tomorrow then you know are we going all the way back down to that lower uh what was that five days before support can go back as into the low threes high twos uh so who knows tomorrow on nz or NSRPF, these long ass tickers. Uh, if you break that, what day was that? Let me see here. Let's figure out what that date was. 814. If you break that 814, 360, good night on that one. Good night on that one. If you break 360 tomorrow on NSRPF. Interesting setup there. I'd be looking for shorts on these, but I mean. Again, if you don't have Speed Trader or Interactive Brokers, you're probably not going to find it. But boy, would those be some nice looking, you know, shorts right now on those stocks. At the end of the day, they are OTCs. Yeah, yeah, definitely that. Yes, indeed. Uh, DGLT. Let's look it up. DGLT. Uh, we talked about DGLT. Uh, didn't we talk about this last week? We talked about DG, DGLT last week. And has that been has that been halted? Yes, yes. It, okay, it was halted. It was halted. Okay. That's why I'm like, okay, why hasn't it done anything since the 16th? Yes, it was halted. So we did mention that last week as well, too, because I see we talked about it last week. So the stock's been halted. Okay, yeah, this is rec okay. I'm recollecting now. This is uh, that stock everybody got excited into. By the way, there have been a, a couple guests we had on the show uh, who got stuck in that. A couple guys uh, who were on the show got stuck in that too. All right. So DGLT, uh, this is a, a hard hold too by the uh, by the SEC. They're requesting documents from the from the company before it even starts trading again so that's going to be some time before that gets uh removed all right i'm not saying you, you're going to have a blto situation but you may have a blto situation but i'm seeing a lot of people say because you guys remember blto blto ran up got halted and then what it did it just fell on its ass man that was a that was so sad because we saw a couple people uh, lose several thousand dollars in BLTO. That was so sad uh, for what happened on that stock. You know, not saying that DGLT is going to be the same thing. Because as I said here last week, and I'll repeat myself now, some people are saying that that deal, that DGLT, as it going on and what had it run to begin with is legit. I don't know anything about it. You're going to have to do your research on it. 
All right. Uh, BTSC. Somebody saying that crashed. Oh, BTCS. Okay, we'll look at BTCS. BTCS. Uh, BTCS. All right. Okay. So I mean, again, these are OTC stocks, right? I mean, you you, you gotta you gotta understand where you know people are gonna want to take their money out, and basically what's going on is that individuals are are, are selling in BTCS, and uh, you got some people who are trying to you know figure out where the bottom is, but uh, unfortunately that that floor is getting lower and lower and lower on btcs you had a low of uh 22 damn so you closed just above the low of the day uh at 2250 low was uh exactly 22 cents uh, 14 million shares traded so very got a lot of volume being moved here man you got a lot of volume coming into some of these otcs uh, but that floor getting lower and lower in BTCS, man. Be careful. You're going to find yourself back at $0.06 cents a share in no time. Uh, Brandon, doing great, man. Doing great. Right now, that's basically all I'm playing right now is uh, is options, bro. I'm loving the triple uh, Qs. Loving the Qs right now. So liquid, so nice. All right. AZFL will go up more in September and October harvest. Okay. Yeah, we talked about AZFL uh, earlier today. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, PLSB. PLSB. 0018 stock OTC play. All right. Huge sell-off today, down 21% on that. A lot of volume coming into that one, too. Uh, all right, interesting, but man, this looks like it's kind of beat up here. Let's see if it can work its way higher. But today was definitely not a good sign. You had two two good days. Uh, last week, Thursday, Friday looked very solid for the stock, but didn't 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 do so well today. Yeah, I'm 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 I don't know. The options is just I love how quick the money comes in with options when you're on when you're doing the right thing and. Uh, it's definitely helped improve my patience, helped improve my patience, you know, cause I got some snap 2019 snap options right now, which I'm sitting on like 500, $600 gains and I'm not doing anything with it because it just, the stock continues to, you know, a couple days down a day or two green, a couple more days down and it's slowly working its way to my out of the money call price, strike price rather. Uh, R B N N W R B N W R B N W Renewable Energy Power Company. Now this is a stock that we thought it was game over for this one last week. It's adding a very interesting Thursday, Friday, Green Day. The stock was working its way higher, and then uh, you know to see. You know, that bearish move after that solid, almost a Marabuzo candlestick, but I see a wick at the top of that. All right. Then you had the bearish confirmation here that almost looks like a hanging man, but the body is a little bit bigger. Uh, hanging mans, as you guys have read in candlesticks uh, books, uh, hanging mans can represent a turnaround situation. Uh, but again, the body's a bit big on that one, but you know, then the wick is a little bit short. But uh, you had a confirmation of, of some bullish momentum here. So a uh, fatter doji spinning top, I guess you can call that doji, then the spinning top uh, candlesticks. So not bad, man. Uh, not bad on that one. I, I would follow the news very carefully on this one, though. I see they're putting out some things, but uh, last article here, August 17th, I'll find out who's pushing that. And see whether or not they got some strength to keep going. Exactly, ATL Trader. Yeah, yeah. I'm loving the snaps uh, options right now, man. Loving the snap options right now. But again, all my options right now on snap are uh, 2019 options. 2019 options. So I'm I'm heavily loaded on that 2019 10 uh, $10 
strike price also i'm loaded on the five and the five goes for like under 50 cents right now so i i just don't think snap is gonna is gonna make it i don't think snap is gonna make it i think um sometime either late 2018 mid 2018 or even 2019 i hope it, we don't get that far but mid 2018 uh snap possibly go single digits that'd be nice and then my options are in like seven eight dollar range xtnt xtnt uh xtnt uh 69 cents four cent gain today five percent move uh what was up with that volume today dude that volume was horrible uh, average volume is 1.5 million, only 500,000 shares traded today. So it looks like uh, it's definitely losing steam from that run from beginning of the month. It looks like the day traders are definitely giving up on it, man. So if you're in the stock, I could see how you could possibly be thinking uh, this could be, you know, a bottom and could be working its way higher. But you're running out of running out of time there, man, because it looks like the day traders are definitely getting out of this one. And it could be going back to being its old illiquid self. Uh, I would check out Yahoo and, and figure out what the volume was prior to that huge run up here. And you could be going back to that number. Okay. Said so Google should buy Snap. Uh, I mean, they're basically copying everything that Snap has. I mean, uh, said Google should buy Snap. I don't know if would Google have any interest in Snap. Possibly. I can see it working. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, send that email on CHK. Uh, let's look at CHK. Uh, CHK 382. Man, okay. So CHK still heavily beat up. Uh, we had the green day on Friday. I thought that might be the beginning of something. Uh, here's the weekly chart on CHK. So on the weekly, it's still, you know, it's beat up, but it's still not super low. I'd, I'd like to see it under that 30 even on the weekly. I think if you get under that 30 on the weekly, you could get that 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 big move that you're looking for. Uh, although the daily chart does show that that aggressive selling. Uh, natural gas has taken a huge hit, but I saw some articles last week that made it seem like natural gas could be turning around. CHK, a penny stock that, again, another stock that, you know, had much, much better days in the past. CHK was, you know, a $30, $40 stock. If you go back further, I mean, you can see the stock actually got to the high 60s. Uh, big company, by the way. Don't don't let the mark, your current market cap fool you. Uh, current market price for you it's three dollars and 82 cents but it has a 3.5 billion dollar market cap uh, at one time had over a hundred billion dollar market cap but uh you know times change and chk uh you know changed accordingly so say sal need that bag yeah i need that t my 2500 man you know 2500 2500 send that email out to any stock you want to almost 20,000 people and I can guarantee you possibly anywhere between 50 to 150,000 dollars worth of buying for your 2500 bucks you know and a lot more interest all right, so let's keep going and seeing what uh, what else is out there. Uh, let's see some, we had a, some a lot of good stocks today in double digits, and most of them were ones that we were pretty familiar with and very familiar to most of us who've been watching the show. Uh, here, let's get back to the daily charts again. Uh, let's get back to the daily charts again. Again, that is CHK on your screen. Uh, OPGN. OPGN. Uh, this is I wanted to bring this to your attention. Uh, this is a stock that's been heavily, heavily oversold. Uh, and today 
Green Day, solid Green Day coming out of that that low RSI 26, 26, and now RSI is at 36. Nice move today, up 11%. Uh, you do have a pretty tall top wick, so you had a few people rejecting those higher prices, but uh, the selling could be over. Selling could be over. Selling could be over. It could be working its way higher. It's not that bad for a swing right here. It's not that bad for a swing right here at 27 cents a share right now. Going to have to probably be a little bit patient, but like where it's starting out that uh, right now. Not bad. 27 cents a share, OPGN. 636, right. you on the air. I What's up? I got your number from doing a trace. I need you to stop pranking me. All right. All right, look at this guy. Get out of here, you damn nigga! All right. Mute you and disconnect you. All right. Thanks for calling. Uh, watch for fit. Somebody saying fit bounce today. We'll take a look at that. Uh, FIT fit. $5 a share. Down 17 cents. Okay. Okay, not bad. Uh, Fitbit, you know, I'm not a fan of the technology, although I've been seeing, uh, there was this one girl with a big old fat butt that I used to talk to, and she wore a Fitbit watch. And, uh, you know, that's kind of how they kind of cheat themselves, getting their little steps in or whatever. And But, you know, you're not really working out anything when you're getting them steps. I feel like you actually have to be trying hard to put some kind of exertion on your body. You know what I mean? I don't think, like, just walking around uh, is going to help you lose weight, especially if, you you know, you're not uh, including a healthy diet with that. All right. UHLN. U-H-L-N. Uh, U.S. Highlands. Okay. U.S. Highlands. Uh, this is a stock that looks like it's done some things in the past. It looks like it's done some things in the past. So, okay. I think your your buy was at, what, at 0008, 0006. There you go. Trying trying to start it all over, over again. Don't get played, though. Don't get played. Sometimes what, what happens is that you'll see a stock that, got promoted then dumped on itself and what would happen is that a lot of people start to jump in uh thinking that it could happen all over again all right only time will tell if this is the the beginning of something new uh we saw some movement last week if you guys remember in uh rsii uh that some people thought that that was going to be starting over again rsii let's look at that uh, so, yeah, there it is. It was a couple moves from last week, week before that. Uh, but now, you know, it's not looking so positive, right? It looks like, uh, you know, kind of got fooled out of that because we thought the stock was going to break out higher. Now here we go, uh, failing and getting lower again on RSII. ELED. ELED. 0080 on ELED. Uh, this is the company, I want to say they're based out of Miami, and they make LED lights for offices and other commercial buildings. Um, they, I think they did a reverse split a couple months ago, too, because this is one of those stocks that had a very hard time getting out of the triples, as you can see here, for a very long time. I believe they may have reverse split somewhere in here. Uh, the float got definitely a lot lighter because this was one of those companies that had a, a 50 billion, you know what I mean, some 500 billion share float where, you know, you can have an 80K day of buying and it, it doesn't even move 1%. Uh, so ELED, nice move today. Uh, is it starting over? Who knows? Who knows? I didn't catch I didn't catch the eclipse today, man. I I, I don't know. I wasn't really... You know, I saw it on on the news or whatnot, but I wasn't really, you know, if if anything, I was just trying to make sure I didn't look up at the sun today. You know, I was going out of my way to make sure I didn't look at the I look up at the sun. So, 
Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even take a look at that that eclipse or anything like that. I know it's you know once in a lifetime type of thing, for this particular eclipse anyway. But I don't know. I just wasn't no you know it just wasn't no big deal for me. Yeah, Angie's list. I hate Angie's list, but it's still doing its thing, Mister Lloyd. I can't stand Angie's list. You know, I've talked to you many times about Angie's list and how much I think it's a fake company, and the only reason it's hanging up there is because. You've got a lot of mutual funds that have large positions in Angie's List, and they're basically, you know, buying it up or not selling. That's the that's the problem when you look at Angie's List. You know, you got companies out there that are offering what Angie's List is doing absolutely free of charge. You know, I've said it many times that this game called the stock market is rigged. It's rigged for rich people. CNBC put out an article today saying America. For the rich is better than it's ever been. Better than it's ever been in terms of wealth. You know. All right. D-R-Y-S. Uh, D-Y-R-S. Again, I'm still paper trading this piece of shit. Uh, D I mean, it's so. Look at this. It's so fucking beat up. I can't even see it. Look, look, look how, you know. I got to take off everything. I mean. Here's DRY, DRYS drives. I got to take off my 15-day moving average because look at my 15-day moving average does to the chart. I mean, it's so beat up. You know, it just got above the 15. All right, got above the 15. It's been hanging on that 15-day moving average. Uh, this is the EMA, actually, so. Uh, hanging, hanging for dear life. I'm paper trading this because that's the only way I can get shares of it. And this is, I told you guys how my paper trading account is like a billion dollars. And I started with like a hundred grand three years ago. And basically paper trading crap like this when you know it's going to go down, right? So if you're wealthy, you know, and you, you got the amount of money to allow it to go against you for a week, week and a half or even granted uh, a month or two months or hell a year uh, you're gonna win because you already know the fundamentals don't fit and you, you know you're gonna win that's what we talk about how the game's rigged that's what i mean if you got the money you always win in the stock market closet loader said stay far away from dries absolutely stay far away from it press like on this video if you can please if you're not a member of our Discord room, make sure you become a member by clicking the link in the description to our 24-7 chat room and being a member of our Discord room during the trading day. All right, bouncing tickers off each other. DRYS down 1% today. This, this is going down, by the way. It's going to eventually get down to the twos. You know, it's just the market's acting up right now, but don't get it twisted. It's coming back down. I don't know why it's it's holding up like that right now, but... It is. ARGS. Let's take a look. Argos Therapeutics. 19 cents a share. Okay. Another one of those crappy NASDAQ plays. 612, you on the air. What's up? Hey, what up, uh, Mr. Sal? You said who? This is Christopher... What's up, Mr. Sal? This is Christopher Jewell. Can you hear me? Oh, shit. This is Christopher from the Dominican Republic. What's up, man? Claro que si. Nada, hermano mío. ¿Qué pasó? Man, I got some... Uh, what? Uh, I sent you an email and things. Uh, just was going to run some tickets, by you. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I man. Uh, I, I saw your email. You're saying that, uh, you know, I see you got that, that crappy... Uh, Dominican phone service, man. It sounds pretty pretty bad, but but uh, oh, uh, but but hey, man. Tell us, like, how are you living down there with only five hundred dollars? You said in the email that you base basically able to live down there with just five hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, no, the owner. I live on the base. I live on a fixed income. No, the owner. You know, like uh, so. Um, I used to. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I used to work in the jungle up here for like years. Like back in share trader days, the share builder days, uh -huh. and so uh, uh, I would work up in the jungle, learn all this Spanish and stuff, and how they speak here. But I finally got to come down here, and I'm 
I can rent an apartment for about 300 bucks a month. I mean, furnished. I'm, the hotel is saying it is cost me like two hundred dollars a month, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm two blocks from the beach, so that's just that. So you know, I eat I eat alkaline, like any. What kind of questions you talking about? That's just rent. Yeah. You know, so and I come down sit down like six months at a time or something. Like that. Wow! So, wow! Wow, man, that's 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 incredible. Only five hundred dollars. I mean, that's 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 that's, that's well, got to be the life, man. Just to be living on the beach and no job, just kind of enjoying yourself. No, because I took no, I took a little bit of this whole dropping name and ring bells, man. Like uh, the guy, the stock guy was like uh, twenty minutes and he's done that first thirty minutes and this and learning how to do the just cloud thing. Because uh, like I said, I've been doing this that share builder, mm-hmm. but you can be up under palm tree. Like K. Hard was saying, and get your app, get your Robin Hood app. Do do do. Flip. Uh, do you couple uh, do you couple three percent like you do? Take your gains, and I'm gone for the day. Like uh, yeah. like they said, them names ring bells. You know. Yeah. Y'all put it all together. So, like I say, I can sponsor anybody want to come down here for a day. Want to come down here and just make sure you bring your app and uh, pair of trunks. And uh, put all your little things together and uh, be a professional man of leisure, whatever you're working on. What you, what you got going on. That's what's up, man. And by the way, how's your internet down there? Is the internet pretty good? It's live. As a matter of fact, see, this is a growing country and stuff. And, you know, Viva, the OTTV, I think if you want a bright idea how they get down, Viva was the old, old uh, telephone selling company here along with two other companies. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm, I looked at that. But, uh. The internet service is cool. Yeah, it's a streaming. I'm using. I know it's your favorite company, T T uh, B Mobile. That that you know, B Mobile mm-hmm. that you used to work for. That uh, I'm using. I'm using international service, but um, so, but I can sponsor anybody who want to come down here and try that. Try your hand at like that living y'all talking about. Like I say, go walk to the beach at nine thirty in the morning because this is the same time as Wall Street. Right here, wake up. Do that thirty minute flip, like like God saying, then be ready for that cloud from red to green, mm-hmm. and all them candlesticks that y'all know, and whoops, it's a done deal. You can, you can you can jump in and out like y'all was saying, seeing all the ins and outs during the whole course of the day. You can get and make money in any market, like uh, and like Mr. Lowe was saying, it's like uh, when you be flying around and changing time zones, you have to learn how to swing trade and to learn day trade and everything. Man, you have to learn about everything. So, but, uh, like I say, sponsoring anybody want to come down to the DR, man. I don't care, Santa Domingo. What, 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 what else? I just had some tickets. I was wondering why iPhone, I, I got, like, the portfolio I put together with y'all, I was going to, um, just like with that IFON, it did some double digits, and with that Mr. Anthony, I ran that NAK, so, mm-hmm. and that, D, that DCTH is on the weird thing, but, uh, just um, I was calling and I was going to be sure to hit me up though, so I can yeah. talk more detail about the numbers. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I got your number. And by the way, anybody else who's uh, looking to go to the DR, I do have uh, a Christopher's contact info. So appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for the information. All right, man. Be patient on the options, cuz. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Christopher Jewell. Shout out to Christopher Jewell uh, down there in the Dominican Republic, man. He's really living a life, too. He sent me some pics. He's not lying, man. He's really down there, you know, beach bumming it out, you know, while we up here working and uh, living under the system. He's down there living a life. So shout out to uh, Christopher Jewell. Uh, Infosonics, he talked about, had a solid day today, up 15%. Uh, another one of those cheap OTC, uh, not OTCs, cheap NASDAQ plays. I mean, I, I'm, I'm seeing now, is that what everybody's doing now is buying these things? You know, remember, you know, so many of us got out of the OTCs to to buy, you know, stocks that were a little bit more expensive, but at the same time gave us very similar kind of quality moves. Uh, but the thing is that they cost typically about a dollar or more. And here we are. Over the last, I would say, 90 days or so, we've been seeing so many stocks between 10 and, I want to say, 60 cents just go to Pluto. GLUU, 
Nasdaq play three dollar twenty seven cents. This is another one that used to, by the way, trade on the uh, OTC markets. If you do some research, uh, that's been a beautiful look. Look at that ten day EMA, or excuse me, that's a fifteen day EMA. It's been hanging on that very nicely uh, since back before it crossed over. They're back on July thirteenth at two dollars and fifty four cents. You had three twenty seven now. That's kind of one of those things where when I see uh, Tyson Bats, he didn't have a show on Saturday, but I know he's doing a lot of swing trading, doing a lot of swing trade. I don't know if this is one of the ones he's been looking at, but very similar look as he talks about a lot about that 2 o'clock pattern. This has definitely done it over the last 35 days. Uh, beautiful move there on GLUU. Nice, nice, nice pick on that, Bose. Uh, WKHS, WKHS is that company that makes that uh, battery power truck. Now, when I say battery power truck, it sounds weak, but man, that thing is a beast. It's like 450 horsepower. Uh, they also have a larger box truck that they make, and they also, I don't know if they, or when the Postal Service is going to announce this, but uh, they submitted plans to make the version of the U.S. Postal, those little U.S. Postal trucks. The government had asked for bids last year, toward the end of last year, and companies like WKHS submitted bids. Uh, the winner is to be announced sometime, I think, next year. I think next year. So who knows if a WKHS wins it, man, that could be insane. I mean, that's a multi-billion dollar contract. All right, but most of these companies that do this are private, so I think WKHS is one of the few, along with Tesla, uh, that would you would consider a publicly traded, uh, you know, clean car company out there right now. Uh, what platform am I using for options? I'm using Tasty Trade. It's cheap, dirt cheap. It's only one dollar an option. And no closing costs when it's time to close the trade. Or cover, rather. All right, WKHS. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of WKHS. I don't like that chart, you know. When I can't tell where the stock is going, you know, it is what it is. I'm seeing, seeing some support here, you know, in the, the, the mid twos. But uh, it's very, very boring stock, by the way, too. Volume is very... Uh, Uh, PCLN, that's Priceline. Wow, huge sell-off. Look at that, that sell-off in Priceline. Yeah, I would definitely dip by this on Priceline. Uh, don't know what the options are on this. Let's take a look at, real quick, PCLN. Uh, it's already August, so I would look at October 20th because I would just be looking for something to ride until mid-September. So we're at 1801. Damn, man, these options are expensive as fuck. Shit. Look at these Priceline options, bro. It's like 5500 bucks for one contract. Damn, I forgot how, I mean, I, I, knew, I knew they'd be expensive, but I forgot. I didn't think they'd be that expensive. Shit. For one contract. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, I, I would definitely dip by this though. I would definitely dip by that though. I mean, if I if 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 I wanted to do it, if I wanted to do it, I'll tell you right now, I'd be going for the October twentieth, October twentieth, eighteen twenty option, or maybe no, nah, I would go. I'd probably go eighteen ten, just to be on the safe side. October twentieth, eighteen ten, and you would just ride it out. Just write it out. But that's the call, right? That that'll be the call. But all you better hope to God that this, you know, this pullback isn't 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 uh Damn man, this is really serious, dude. That that's a pretty big drop now that I pull it back a little bit. I mean you're going back to 
you're basically sitting on some of those May lows. So you're sitting back on some almost three, four month lows right now. But just looking at where the RSI is, I would still play a snap back to, to 1810, maybe 1825. What's going on, Cali girl? And by the way, if you don't know how to play options, check out my options video or uh, go to YouTube, type in Tasty Trade. That's another great little channel on YouTube. Uh, they got a whole damn network where they just talk about options all day, every day. And it's a daily show as well, Monday through Friday. Although I don't like that one black chick who's on there. I mean, she's kind of creepy. Uh, D Y Dynagy, D Y N Dynagy, five point six percent gain. Uh, Nine dollar stock fossil fuels. They're described as an utilities company. All right, six point one million shares today. Uh, looks like they completed some kind of offering for almost eight hundred fifty million dollars. Uh, nice move there today on Dynagy. You know, I saw the movie Wall Street today. I had I hadn't seen that movie Wall Street in years. And I remember watching it when I was younger before before I knew anything about stocks. And it looked so cool and exciting or whatever, but now to when you watch the movie Wall Street and now that you actually know what the hell they're talking about in the verbiage it, you see the movie completely differently. Like there's some things that I saw in it, like I didn't even recognize when I saw it the very first time. But now that I see it, I'm like, oh, shit, that's what they were doing. Cali girl said you have the DVD. Yeah, yeah. I downloaded off uh, Pirate Bay. You know, 1080p in, and that left it looks like they kind of retouched it a little bit. So uh, it was interesting to see. It was like, damn, okay. A little verbiage and shit. But the old-ass technology was like, it was hilarious watching these old-ass technology. With the pink sheets and all that. Goldfields, American Depository, GFI, gold play, up 2%. 443 up 11 cents 5 million shares traded today uh i already i mean we already know some of the stocks so i, I feel like i've given a lot of tickers that are going to dump tomorrow M most of the otc plays we looked at are going to dump tomorrow you know get, give me a stock that's probably going to run tomorrow anything up after hours uh, let me see here. Give me a stock that's going to run tomorrow. Let me see here. I I M M U, maybe. Uh, that's kind of hot though. Let me see here. It's uh, kind of hot, but I love the last three days in the move there. It's pretty nice on I M M U. I love those last three days on that one. Uh, let's see here. Let's look at some more. Cura. Cura, Cura is looking nice. I like Cura on that low RSI bounce. 809, you're on the air. What's up? Hola, ¿cómo está usted hoy? ¿Está ahí? Get out of here, you damn nigga. All right. Motherfuckers calling my show in Spanish. And no, I don't speak no damn Spanish. Cura Oncology. Up 6.6, .6, oh, sorry, excuse me, uh, 6.60 a share, up 35 cents, 5% 5 gain today alone. I, I actually like this because, you know, I, I like where the chart is. You guys know I like uh, very low risk plays, although I'd love to see if it was cheaper. You know, if it was like a $3 play, then I could really load up on it. I mean, $6 isn't too bad, but. You know, a, a one thousand share position is you're talking about six grand, and you know, uh, you know, mm. six sixty right now a share. Q 
key K U R A is the ticker. Volume isn't that great either. Ugh, volume is is horrible. Volume's horrible. Needs to drop some news. Hasn't had some news lately. Looks like it's been almost two and a half weeks since some good news. What's going on, Mac? Bad scientists, you said your your stock won't dump tomorrow. Put up your list again. The ones that you think are, are going to run PIRS, five bucks, five oh five to be exact, up three percent. Uh, somebody talked about BW. What is BW? Babcock and Wilcox. Yeah, we saw that last week. BW. Oh, thank you for bringing up BW. I forgot about this. This is one I was looking for. Uh, there was a ticker we talked about last week, and I was like, God damn, forgot to write it down. What was that one that, that looked like that was sold off? Like, you know, BW, that was it. Babcock and Wilcock Enterprises. Solid volume. Horrible chart. But I still want to play this, 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 this bottom. I still want to play this bottom. All right, don't love the candlestick, but we'll see. If we maybe we can get some bullish confirmation tomorrow in BW. But I, I like this. I I like this at two oh five. I like that. Can really load up here and get a good you know shit. You know, over the course of maybe who knows over two weeks, can you get twenty percent, thirty percent on your money? You know, maybe back to you know. Let's see here. Maybe back. Can we get back to you know two ninety four? 205 to 294 you know why not i mean what is that 80 80 something cents actually what 86 cents a share that's that'll be a solid return i'm gonna leave that right there can we get back there i don't know how long it can take you but eight on the rsi still above a dollar share well above a dollar share so not bad Bowles, you said, why would I play that? Con the chart continues to gap down. Yeah, if it doesn't gap down, you're absolutely right. If it doesn't gap down, but today's action uh, with the bulls and you know showing slight control today with that candlestick. It's in. I don't like the candlestick, but with the bulls showing, uh, you know, slight victory with today's move, uh, it could be the signal that that you know the selling may be done. That the selling may be done. We'll see. Time will tell. The Tasty Troll is pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. That Tasty Trade show is pretty solid. You can go back and watch that video that they did with Tim Sykes, man. They gave him the work on that on that show. Man, the guy who owned Tasty Trade interviewed Tim Sykes. He gave him the business. That was really interesting. Yeah, just type in Tim Sykes and Tasty Trade or something like that. And the interview pops right up. I think he thought he was going to go there and get a friendly interview. All right, so let's go back and uh, CCIH. Let's look at CCIH. Oh, okay. I like CCIH. This is a stock that I followed back in the past before it was a lot better. Uh, CCIH working its way higher. Uh, China Cash International. Uh, I don't play too many Chinese stocks unless they're running intraday. And if they are running, I'm always looking to get the downside. But, I mean, you know, everything coming out of China so far, man, is pretty good. When you got companies like Alibaba putting up stupid numbers. And still watching people on CNBC kind of low-key take shots at Alibaba. I don't know if you guys be, have noticed that in the past. Uh, those of you guys who are able to watch CNBC during the day, they kind of take low-key shots at Alibaba, you know. You know, always, oh, well, Chinese company, accounting, we don't know. I'm like, come on, man, this is a company that trades on the New York Stock Exchange. You know, if there was something funny with the numbers, we would see it by now. With as many people as, you know, who follow that thing. CCIH breaking above the 15 day EMA on 817 and holding it really well. Nice day today on the stock. 
uh, still staying above that, getting hotter now above at 55. And here's another stock again that you know again sold off relatively aggressively, got out oversold, and a little bit of patience here, a little bit of patience here would have would have been solid for you. I mean, look at this beautiful Doji pattern, bullish confirmation. Uh, you know, with the very next day with what looked like almost like a spinning top, although that bottom wick is pretty short. That bottom wick is pretty short. Uh, what is that? Almost not a hanging man. I forgot what the word for the one that comes uh, after that. What's the not hanging man? What's the opposite bats of the hanging man? What's the opposite of hanging man? I forgot what uh, it's gonna bother me now. Hanging man, and then there's uh, I forgot what it's called. The hammer. I think it's called the hammer signal. The hammer signal. But this is not a hammer. This hanging man and this hammer. This is definitely not a hammer. But beautiful looking chart though. I mean, this is this would have been your entry right here at 74 cents here at 91. Nice move. Nice move. Yeah, it's the hammer. Hanging man and then the hammer. Yeah. All right, relative 9696, XPLR. XPLR, nice move there, Explore Technologies. Uh, they're labeled as a tablet and netbook technology company. Okay, you guys are putting up some nice tickers today. Nice tickers. A, a good mix of runs that are just starting and then some runs that are kind of up there. Uh, huge volume today. Look at this you know, beautiful volume day. Uh, looks like there was an article written out by Yahoo Finance putting it in the top. What is that? Explore. All right. Yeah, but I'm not seeing any recent news for all of that excitement, but not bad. Uh, a lot of volume coming in today out, out of nowhere. Uh, could have been in an article or something like that. But again, 1.5 million traded today. Uh, only 240,000 is the average. So be careful on this one. You got a lot of people stuck up there. You got some orders up here. All right. Obviously, you got some orders up there. Or it could be some robo trading just run amok. XPLR is the code. 646, you on the air. What's up? Hey, it's uh, Ken from New York. Yeah. Um, what, a day, what a day for the AZFL. Uh, that's a new one that I'm interested it's a marijuana stock yeah azfl uh shout out again to ryan gets it he, he's the guy who's been talking about it ever since it was you know triple zero four triple zero three and uh to see azfl wow. now at double oh sixteen looks very very nice today was a great day for the stock uh so but you know now you're at uh 75 uh, do you see a pullback here or, or does this continue to go like a uh, amfe or something i think it continues to go okay I do. If you look at the uh, look at the six six month chart. I mean, it's a real breakout yeah. on on huge volume on this chart. Yeah. The sector, certain stocks of the sector, are starting to break out, which is interesting to me. Yeah, here's uh, AZFL on the weekly. I mean, I mean, just beautiful confirmation week after week uh, in AZFL. I mean, again, triple zero three now at double o sixteen. I mean, this is insane growth. Uh, for AZFL, beautiful, beautiful weekly chart. Thank you, thank you. And one of the other one, AMFA, they, the news release came out tonight. Um, it was supposed to be really, um, at least in Canada, and it'll come out tomorrow morning regarding their their growth plans on the AMFL. And I mean, look at that chart. Just, that's another one. Wow. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, no movement today on the stock, but it looks like that you said right. The news came out. News up tonight. What do you yeah, think tonight. is going to happen with this tomorrow? I don't know. I'm not. Uh, you know, do you sell on the news? That's a tough one. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it'll be interesting to see if the volume comes in because the volumes come down a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's going to be the reason. I mean, but obviously the stock was was up, and uh, I think that prevented the real sell off was the fact that everybody was still anticipating the news. I think tomorrow, if you do get a big volume day, you do see a lot of big holders start to to sell off because obviously that was the catalyst. So, you know, you might right. end up uh, getting that big sell-off uh, beginning tomorrow. 
Um, and one more, the, the OMVS. Um, I thought, do you, do you follow this guy, Ched's Trading, on Twitter? The guy's pretty good. He really, at least the show I yeah, I, I, uh, yeah I, you know what? I have seen Ched's Trading. I think I do follow him, uh, but I, I, I'm familiar with his, his Twitter account. And, yeah, he, when I have seen stocks run, I have noticed he has been one to kind of bring up the stock pretty early. You go back in the past where, you know, when very few people talked about it, and you, did, you do see his account sometimes. One thing he mentioned two weeks ago on a Friday evening there, the 13F came out. You know, it's, like, it's important when, when, it, when these news releases come out with these with these filings to take a step back and think what that really means. He, that was like a hedge fund of a 9.9% holding, and they started releasing, they started selling the shares off. That's when the stock hit its peak, and it can come all the way down to, I think, around, it hit 15.8 this morning, closed at 19.5. But you definitely, you, you you could see how hedge fund was selling shares. Just you know, it doesn't matter what the story of the stock is; they're they're selling their shares to get their money. Yeah. that's what these, that's what these people do. These dead old days. I, I just thought that was an important point to bring up to you because you know that everyone on the show you really pay attention when you see these filings come out after hours. Yeah, and uh, you don't fall in love with the story because I'm guilty of it too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they'll sell you you know roses upon roses upon roses, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, when you come out and they say they don't have any money or, you know, they, yeah. their product is, <laughs> isn't as good as, you know, it, it comes straight down. So, yeah, filings are very important, even on OTCs. They, they really are. One more thing. What, uh, your thoughts on the Bitcoin sector? It looks like Bitcoin is coming down a bit now. I, I think it's around 3850 this evening. I, no, I, 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 would, I still, you know what, dude? I still won't give up on Bitcoin now. As much as I don't like it, I, you know, as much as. I, I honestly hate Bitcoin and how everybody's excited about it because I think the technology is real, but I don't believe oh, sure. I don't believe that the the Bitcoin itself will survive. But I mean, it's just a slight pullback. You have some people taking profits. Again, this is a stock that does that pretty you know pretty regularly. I mean, the stock, uh, or excuse me, the the um, BTCS BTC to USD uh, sold off. What was that a little bit in July? Now it's selling off a little bit too, so you know you're going to get new money coming well, at these lows, and it'll run again. I think very well that Bitcoin could possibly do Bitcoin five thousand, hell, maybe even ten thousand. I don't think we've seen the end of oh, Bitcoin yeah. just yet. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah. It's knowing how to time it. It really is all the time. Yeah. All right. Have a good evening. Appreciate it. Thank Enjoy you. Join the show. Thank you. Thanks. So shout out to uh, Ken from New York. Uh, as we watch the Bitcoin, this is the five-minute chart. This is absolutely live right now. Uh, Bitcoin to USD. Again, this is live. Uh, let me see. Let's look at the one minute. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Bitcoin is going to go up. It's going to go down. But these these things do that. These things do that. But I think... Again, for the people who have money, they're going to find the bottom and they're going to buy it up. And I think it'll continue to go up. Oh, I have no doubt it's a bubble as well, Andres. I've said that a million times. I think Bitcoin is a bubble. I think uh, a lot of people are going to end up falling on their ass big time when Bitcoin uh, does it. You know, when Bitcoin eventually shits on itself. Here's the chart now. And as you can see here, we cracked below the 15-day moving average. So... Here, and this is the daily chart. This is the daily chart. So, been doing very, very well, but finally cracking now on Bitcoin. Obviously, if you put the 4 and 8, you probably would have caught it a little bit earlier, uh, as 15 is, is a little bit later. Uh, but uh, Bitcoin selling off here. DIGAF is a good Bitcoin play. Let me see. DIGAF. Let's take a look at DIGAF real quick. Uh, DigiTrade. Okay, so this this is one of those companies. How legit is this? Does it actually uh, allow you to buy Bitcoin? You know, if there's one company I'd love to see go public, it would be Coinbase. I think Coinbase would make a shitload of money if they went public. And they, I mean, you know, going public NASDAQ and NYC, that takes time and, and a lot of work, but I mean, shit, go reverse merger yourself in one of these, you know, OTCs out here that are floating that, that are pretty, pretty much dead. 
uh, and start trading over the counter. I think if, if Coinbase started trading over the counter, I mean, good God. They'd make a shitload of money. I think, you know, they could do it. They very well could pull that off. And by the way, that stock we talked about earlier with Mr. Lloyd, that, that CEO, Sunset Island Group, the one that has now an $82 million market cap, that stock has not had any revenues. It has never made a dollar. Uh, do I see any revenues at all? No. I'm looking at the books while I've been talking on the show here, and that stock is not, this stock right now on my screen has not made a buck. We have not generated any revenues at all. That's what it says right here in the 10K. When this came out back, and we have not generated any revenues as of April 30th. When that's when this, this came out. And this company, by the way, this company, when does this company begin? Uh, okay, so it's a relatively new company. The stock, the company reverse merged into another bullshit company back on October 17th of 2016. But still, no excuses. I mean, that 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 says everything I need to know. I mean, this company reverse merged into a shell on April, on October 17th. On October 17th of 2016. So somewhere around... Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. And now, all of a sudden, less than a year later, it's worth over $82 million on no revenues? On no revenues? Anyway, let's go back to DIGAF. And looking back at your play, man, this is another one holding strong, doing very well, as you said. Uh, don't want to bust your bubble, but I want to look at the books on this one too. I mean, we kind of already know how this is going to go. I can already looking at how light this, this, this is looking at right now. Current cash in the bank, 114,000 as of December. All right. So this is another company with no revenues. All right, so DIGAF has no revenues. All right, company has no revenues, about 114000 in the bank. All right, but hasn't made any money. Currently has a market value of about $10 million bucks. All right. Play the chart, though. Play the chart. I mean, don't, don't, don't. Play the chart. You know, at the end of the day, who cares? JMEI. Let's take a look at JMEI before we get up out of here. Jumia International. Auction company. 19 million shares traded today. Uh, looks like these are deposit depository. Class A ordinary shares. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure. Are these are regular common. Is this common stock? Okay, it looks like it is. Yeah, don't know anything about this company though. Solid volume today. Strong, strong volume too. I mean, look at that volume coming over the course of Thursday, Friday, and then today. Building and building, uh, but the stock sold off really aggressively today. Looks like uh, it was an opportunity to get some shorts. Martez Spencer, hey man, it's all right. Be back on the air tomorrow few more tickers and then we'll get up out of here because i know a lot of us tomorrow gotta go work for the man tomorrow uh root 9b holdings uh okay yeah we just talked about give us uh tickers that are going to be running i like the last two days here here's another stock low on the rsi all right very low downside risk to this uh it's already sold off quite aggressively Again, you know, you're not looking to play the whole return back to, you know, where it pretty much leveled off at. Again, I just look for 
you know, I return back even back to that 193. I I'd, I'd do that. I'd, I'd play that back just to 193. A dollar 26 a share, so you can really load up on this one and see if you can get that 70 cents uh, to the upside. Again, you're gonna have to be patient, but uh, time and you know technical say that eventually uh, this stock should work its way out of that that low RSI area and finally get back to even uh, you know high 30s high 40s and yes I think you can possibly tap that 193 if you would uh, of course continue to get you know confirmation of bullish momentum moving forward but I think you know after what some of these candlesticks uh, you, you know uh, the selling might be just just about done or if not done, if not done, I like that. I like that. All right, couple more, couple more, and we'll be back tomorrow. E N S V. E N S V. Uh, and uh, I'm not seeing what what's the volume on this one. I feel like I'm looking at a low volume chart here. When you start, when you see a chart and you pull it up, it looks like this. Yeah, I'm looking at a possibly a low volume chart here. Uh, what else you got? Kelly girl, R-I-B-T. R-I-B-T, yeah, here's another one. Only 44,000 shares traded, not enough. Although if you're trend following, I mean, if you're trend following, it looks like it's, you know, you've been trend following, but, you know, from 90, you know, it's taken three and a half months to go 10 cents. So, yeah, I'd look for a place with a little bit more volume. Andres, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just talked about RTNB. I like that. I like that chart a lot. RTNB. I like that chart a lot. I mean, I think you're very low risk there. Man, I wish I had saw that on Thursday. I think we probably did pull it up on Thursday, but I I like this. I love the way this chart is setting up. I mean, I just I love it. I mean, you know, again, you don't even have to hold the thing for forever. I think you you know a week week and a half you can very well find yourself sitting on thirty cents a share right on on, on this. You know, even if you don't get back to where my line is one ninety three, you can get out at one fifty. And be sitting on something nice on a stock that's you know trading at only a dollar twenty six right now, you know. But this is not something that I think you you buy and you think you know by Thursday you're gonna sitting on you know one eighty one ninety. It could happen. Could happen. Could happen. All right. So there it is, folks. Uh, been another great hour and a half of discussion with you a lot of tickers well over 50 we i think we discussed today um nice play man uh, nice nice plays and uh, you guys know we keep digging away great options today the market still continue to pull back let's look overall uh it was interesting to see the spy though uh they're fighting it i mean they are really fighting uh you know to maintain uh this this bullish momentum but i think i think it might be just about over now it might be just about over now because now we're getting to some levels where it's like okay do i sell you know or do we dip by and we've got to be careful because i can't get myself into the mindset of thinking game over game over game over and just loading with puts because we could very well find ourselves in a situation where you know, 30 days from now, on in hindsight, we're like, okay, what a dip buying opportunity that we we missed out on, and that's you know that just goes to show you how you know the market you know you really can't tell the future. You know, at the end of the day, you just have to look at the chart day to day. You know, maybe spread out week to week or month to month, and try to figure out where you know things look best because. When you look at the SPY, Standard Poor's 500, Spiders ETF, 
I mean, this this doesn't look too bad on the weekly, right? It looks like a buying opportunity. All right, it looks like a buying opportunity. But this is the first time.